Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm calling the meeting um, officially. There. Uh, we'll start with the invocation, which will be given by Member Smalden, and then the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be given by Member Lewis. We will have a moment of silence. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. We'll now have a roll call and determination of quorum. Chair Odom. Present. Member Bandor? Present. Member Lewis? Present. Member Mann? Present. Member Brennan? Absent. Member Schultz? Uh, absent, but she did say she might be here a couple minutes late. And Member Smolden? Present. Quorum is met. Okay, thank you. Um, now we'll have a swearing in of officers and any witnesses. All right, please raise your hands. Do you and each you saw me swear and affirm? The testimony you're about to present shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And now we'll have the reading of the consent agenda by Mr. Gaines. <laughs> Good evening, Madam Chair and board members. I'm Doug Gaines, Director of Support Services. We have four for dismissal or in compliance, and that is 2023-10, excuse me, 2023-01597. 2023-02310, 2023-02526, and 2023-02530. We also have two for continuance till next month. That's 2023-01308 and 2023-01865. Thank you. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. Uh, I to accept the consent agenda as presented by the city. Madam Chair, I second that motion. Okay. Okay, I have a motion before the board uh, presented by Member Bander accepting the consent agenda um, as presented to the board and seconded by Member Mann. Um, we'll take a vote on it. All those in favor, press yes. Opposed, press no. Okay. I might have to re-vote on mm -hmm. it, sir. Uh -oh. My apologies. Give me one moment. Okay. No worries. Okay. Everybody yes. hold for a second. Mm -hmm. Did I close? Yes. Okay. All right, you may vote now. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't disable their ones because I didn't know they were going to be gone. Percentage. Um, yeah. Just for, okay. 66. Okay, we have I think that's going to be enough. Okay. okay. <coughs> Correct. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right, motion pass. Okay. Hmm. Um, now we yeah. yeah. would have... Next order of business would be public comments, but uh, we have no one here for that. So <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. And we'll now proceed uh, towards the hearing. Uh, the first uh, case to come before the board would be will be case number 2023-02469. Presented by Officer Diaz. Hello, good evening. Hello. Property address tonight is 617 Banderas Avenue in Ocoee. On August 16th, 2023, I received a complaint about the above mentioned property. On August 16th, 2023, I inspected the property and I observed overgrown grass and weeds in front and back of property. 
On August 17th, a notice of code violation was mailed to SWH 2017-1 Borrow LP at 8665 East Hartford Drive, Suite 200 in Scottsdale, Arizona, 85255-7807. As identified by Orange County Property Appraisal for the violation of the ordinance number 115-3, excessive weeds and grass growth. They were given until September 4th, 2023. On September 5th, 2023, I reinspected the property, finding it not in compliance with the city. I'll put the picture. Okay. Uh, during that pause, I'd just like to recognize that Member Schultz has arrived. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ooh. That's for the audio recording. Yes. <laughs> okay. And this is the uh, 617 Banderas. They were given until September 4th, 2023. On September 5th, 2023, I reinspected the property, finding it not in compliance with the city. On September 13th, 2023, the property in City Hall was posted with a notice to, of hearing to this board meeting. And as of today, the property is not in compliance with the city. The city is requesting 50 days, 15 days to come into compliance to October 11th, 2023, or a fine of $50 per day as the violation exists. Okay. My, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. In light of you know, the extreme heat. Um, has that been a consideration? Are you getting more? Of course. Um, this, the, the reason that I'm bringing this property before you is because this is ongoing. This okay. is something that I'm continually having. It's a bank owned. Oh. Um, and the tenants do not get in touch with the city at all, do not communicate. I'll go out there, I'll post the property, I'll see them. Um, I have to go through other means to get in touch with the corporation, maintenance company, so they can keep the property maintained. So um, that's where I am at with them. They do not communicate. It's not because, you know, they have maintenance companies that do this, and they're not doing it. Is there a the homeowner's a HOA? No, uh, there's no HOA uh, in Prima Vista, no. Is the house currently occupied? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, are there any more? And Officer Diaz, when you uh, confront them about this, uh, whoever's supposed to come out there, I guess the uh, the people that own the place? Um, what they do is they take, uh, they put like a, ma a maintenance order in for mm -hmm. them. And that's what they do. They go, okay, well, we'll put it in for it, in a queue for it to get mowed. And they don't have like a, a company they tell you who they use? No, they It's they not like they say, okay, we have H&H, &H, such and such, who we come, we should be coming by on a certain date? No, sir. Okay. They, they put it through, and I don't know who handled mm -hmm. it. It's a corporation. It's a bank. Right. Mm -hmm. Innovation Homes. Okay. That's the name of it. Innov mm -hmm. Innovation Homes. Okay. Okay. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. <clears throat> I move that in case number... 2023-02469 that the respondent be found in violation of the code as cited as of September 4th, 2023 and be given until October 11th, 2023 to come into compliance or be fined $50 per day for the violation until found in compliance. Um, Second the motion. Okay. Seconded. Seconded. Okay, um, I have a motion before the board presented by member Bander in case number 2023-02469 and seconded by member Lewis that the respondents be found in violation of the ordinance as cited and that they be given 15 days until October 11, 2023 to come into compliance or be fined $50 per day until they're found in compliance. Um, if there's any discussion, then we'll hold a vote. All those in favor, press yes. Those opposed, say no. 
Okay, it is unanimous. The motion passed. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay, the next case to come before the board is case number 2023-02566, again presented by Officer Diaz. Property address is 411 South Cumberland Avenue, Ocoee. On August 23rd, 2023, I received a complaint about the above-mentioned property. On August 23rd, 2023, I inspected the property and I observed overgrown grass and weeds in the front and in the back of the property and a junk inoperable vehicle on the property without a valid tag. On August 23, 2023, a notice of code violation was mailed to 2017-2 IH Borrower LP at 1717 Main Street, Suite 2000. Dallas, Texas, 75201 4657, mm -hmm. as identified by Orange County Property Appraisal. They were cited for violation of Ordinance Number 115 3, excessive weeds, grass, and growth, and 165 3, prohibited acts, no person shall keep an abandoned or junk vehicle in any public or private property. They were given until September 6, 2023. And I'm gonna put up the picture. I can find it. Let's see it. No, that's this one. There's the vehicle. This is the tag that's on the vehicle now. It says January 202018. And this is how the property looks. <coughs> They were given until September 6, 2023. On September 7, 2023, I re-inspected the property, finding it not in compliance with the city. On both? On September 13, 2023, the property in City Hall was posted with a notice of hearing to this board meeting, and as of today, this is the condition of the property. It's not in compliance with the city. Again, this is a bank, same bank. Same problem. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is what the city is encountering with this bank. I see. Have you gotten any response back from? I posted the property. I walked up on the door and knocked. Just the neighbors complaining is all okay. we have. Out of curiosity, what uh, the height of weeds and grass would trigger violation of the ordinance? What? Um, it says over 10, 10, 10 inches, inches, is it 10 to 12? Okay. Uh, residential. Residential. residential property. Okay. So and again, is, is the property uh, occupied? It is. <laughs> and I checked with the water counter just to see if I could get a hold of the tenant or there's a tenant and they, the um, bank has it all under their name. So they pay the water bill, they do everything. They, the tenants just rent. Mm -hmm. And I also called them and had them, hey, the grass is overgrown, I have a vehicle on the property without a tag, and she just put it in as a work order. Mm -hmm. so, and it's still there. I'm, I'm trying to understand something right here. You say the respondent, this is IH Borrower LP. But you say it's bank owned, so that would be what in foreclosure. It's the the abbreviation for Innovation Homes. The IH is Innovation Home Borrowers. LP is um, Limited the Partners. Partnership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, when I Google when I when I pulled the Sunbiz, it's what it came up to be. And when I called them, that's how they answered the phone. Uh -huh. It was Innovation Homes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much? Are you recommending? We are recommending the same 15 days to come into compliance, October 11th, or $50 a day per violation as they exist. All right. Madam Chairwoman, I move that in case number 2302566, that the respondent be found in violation of code as cited as of compliance date and be given until October 11, 2023, to come into compliance will be confined $50 a day per violation until found into compliance. Okay. 
Seconded. Okay. Well done, I guess. Okay, I have a motion before the board uh, presented by Member Mann and seconded by Member Lewis in case number 2023-02566 that the respondent be found in violation of the codes as cited and that it be given till October 11, 2023 uh, to come into compliance or be fined $50 per day per violation until uh, they come into compliance. Uh, is there's any discussion? No, ma'am. Um, on that, then we will have a vote. All those in favor, press yes. Those opposed, no. Okay, the motion passed unanimously. Okay. The next case to come before the board is case number 2023-02567, again presented by Officer Diaz. Thank you. Um, property address is 402 South Cumberland Avenue in Ocoee. On August 23rd, 2023, I received a complaint about the above mentioned property. The, uh, on August 23rd, 2023, I inspected the property and I observed overgrown grass and weeds. On August 28th, 2023, a notice of code violation was mailed to 2017. One IH Barrer LP at 1717 Main Street, Suite 2000, Dallas, Texas 75201-4657, as identified by Orange County Property Appraisal. For the violation of ordinance number 115-5, excessive weeds and grass growth. They were given until sep September 11, 2023. On September 12th, I re-inspected the property, finding it not in compliance with the city. On September 13, the property and city hall was posted with a notice of hearing to this board meeting. As of today, the property is in compliance. What I'm asking the board is if we can find them in violation to future, because this is another one of the ongoings, is what I'm asking for. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Do you have a question? Yes. May I, or legal, since <coughs> they have this many properties mm -hmm. in violation, can we, is, sure. since there are this many properties in Oh, there we go. Since there are this many properties in violation, can the fines be compounded or that's not allowed? Mm. So we can, this corporation seems to be keep co coming back up. Yes, sir. Under the bank. So can we just go after that? Of course. That's what I think you're asking. Oh, well, and, and, and as opposed to 50, it's 50 for the first one. 75 50. for the next Something one. for that's the second one, something for the third. Mm -hmm. So this if, one is, if, uh, one you can't, one. okay. Just yeah, but this one's already in compliance, so we cannot right. find them. But we want to. What, what I would like to do is set them up, oh. so in the future when they do come into violation, once we bring it before you, you can decide as to where you want to set the fine. It doesn't have to be fifty dollars. You oh. could take it to the max if you wanted to, mm -hmm. so they can get the message as to keep up with your property. And we're not playing with you. Uh, Correct. All right. Make it up. And that's what is. The we can max? do that. Okay. <laughs> What is the max? The ordinance doesn't. Up to two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. On a repeat violation, it's up to five hundred. Up to okay. on a repeat, up to per mm. day. Okay. Madam Chairperson, I request that uh, we could do that on the. You have to make a motion. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just, before we make a motion, I'm just, I'm just talking uh, to the board. Are we in discussion at yeah. this yes. point? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. I, you know, my personal viewpoint, I, I, I don't think that's a good idea to do. You're, you're setting up a, a condition where, and I understand what you're trying to do is be proactive to that, but that kind of goes against what, what the theme of this board actually is. We're not here to penalize. We're here to get them to come into compliance, and you just did that. They just did that on that property. The reason why we're, we're finding them on these other ones is because they haven't. I just feel that I, I think that's the wrong message that this board is sending forward by doing, by imposing a potential future penalty 
uh, when they did come into compliance, at least on this property. I think they should be held on their individual basis as they would be even if they were individually owned by different people. Even though they're all under the same corporation, I still think that each property should stand alone. Well, That's I, I, my I, personal I, viewpoint. And one of the things, I mean, we have done something similar uh, with respondents. Um, you know, they will straighten it out, but then we, we let them know going forward. Correct. You know, uh, if it's a repeat violation, we already have that. That's in stride um, already in the board. And another thing, the fact that we have three of them, you know, why did they do one and not the other? Correct. All we know, it may have been the tenants. I, and that that's different. and that's where I was going to say it could have been the neighbors. Mm -hmm. Right. It could have been, mm -hmm. but I don't know because nobody responds. You and, know, nobody and, speaks. And, and one of the things. And then again, we're not finding nobody at this point. We're mm -hmm. just finding them in violation because it took them that long. I did call. I did mm -hmm. go out. I'm not their maintenance company. I am code enforcement for the city. I write you the letter. I sent you the letter, but I had to call them. Hey, could you put it in? Could you have it cut? So I'm going out of my way just to have these things done, and I put them all three in, and only one of them got done. And as far as, you know, for the board, we as the board, I mean, we got to think about our community. And one of the things I can, I can say, you know, as a realtor, um, we find these situations where a bank or, a, you know, a, a LLC, they're not as sensitive to the needs of the community. Mm -mm. And that community, it will depend on us. Um, we should be sending a message, you know, whether you are a bank or an individual. I mean, we're very, we're more lenient, of course, with homeowners, but when it comes to a business, I mean, they just don't think the same way as a homeowner. And we have to get their attention. And unfortunately, it's through fines. And I agree with you. I think that um, the same message should be sent for the little person as it should be for the big corporation. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, they're, they're able and body, body and well able to pay for this to get done. That, that's, that's not their problem. Their problem is they're not sending someone out to do it. Mm -hmm. So then for the bank, that's not an issue. The bank doesn't, it's not concerned with, with that. The bank is concerned with getting rid of the property. So they don't care if you do it or not. Uh, but the, like you said, it's, Madam Chair, the community suffers. The people in the community suffer from that because people, the home value, you'd be surprised exactly. if they want to sell their home, they buy somebody's house, grass is 20 feet tall, that, uh, exaggeration, but they're not going to want to live near that. Yeah, They feel like it's being neglected. And so our job, once again, is, and I understand where you're coming from, uh, Mr. Bando, a member of Bando, but I believe that to send the, we have to send the same message to the, the uh, cor big corporation as we sent to the little HLA or whoever. So That's all I'm saying. So what's the message that you're sending? I think we should send if they come into compliance, they're still going to be penalized? No, I think the it's the message which that, like um, Officer Diaz said and the chairwoman, is that we need to set them up to let them know that this wouldn't, this behavior would not be tolerated going forward. But we already have that built into this in, a, in the ability, if you have repeat offenders, you know, the fine may be initially set at 10, 20, 30, whatever, mm -hmm. but you can go up to 100, 200, 500, you know? That's, I, that's the point right. that I'm trying to make it. I this, see what you're saying. Is that, that you have the ability, yeah. that we as the board I, have the ability, if this is a repeat offender, you know? Sure. Just because there happen to be three and mm -hmm. potentially more. I don't know. We haven't gotten through the rest of the mm -hmm. list yet. Yeah, of course. You know, <laughs> but you, you, I, I don't see where you can penalize a company for doing what they were what they were doing. And mm -hmm. we don't even know. You're right. The the this could be a uh, the the residents of uh, the mm -hmm. occupants are mm -hmm. supposed to do this, and they're not. Or like you were mentioning about the water company was uh, is paid for by them. Maybe the lawn care service is supposed to be included in that. We don't know, and that the this uh, LLC is thinking that hey, all of these properties are should be taken care of, but maybe it's uh, a lawn service that. Yeah. that yeah, I understand that, job. but they're like uh, Officer Diaz said, they're not communicating with her. Anything. Yeah, and, and why they're not would communicating they? Communicating with That's, her. And, yeah, why would they? I'm inclined to uh, to Go believe ahead. that it would is probably the tenants of the homeowner. Absolutely. Otherwise, they would have took care of all of them. Why would they just take care of one, one? and leave the rest? That, 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 
you and know. it's right down the street. Yeah. One is 402 South Cumberland, the other one's 411. Yeah, that's street, why right I said that. Right across the street. It's so, because mm -hmm. um, something is not. Doesn't yeah. seem like it. And again, um, right. I, what I did want to say to what you said, the letter that would go out after your, you, if you <coughs> find him in violation today, mm -hmm. that's the next well, letter that would go out. It's not a penalty. Right. It's just advising them you are in compliance. But you have been found in violation. And if this were to occur again, this is what could happen. Right. It's just the message. Uh, I would even go further okay. saying this is what will happen. Right. Because, like you said, uh, Banda, we can go up to 250, as uh, uh, the, um, Justin said. However, we're not, we're not threatening them. No. We're we'll merely stating the fact mm -hmm. that, look, this has to be taken care of. And this is a serious matter. Yeah. Uh, Can I have two? Sure. Have we ever encountered them before? This is our first. I, I don't recall ever hearing them. No, this has been done over. This is what this, you, this coming before the this, board. This, this group. This. Yeah, this I, group. I have addressed the this this certain property right here has been this one and, and another one I presented you on um, Banderas have been two. This other one has been added to their group. So that's why I felt inclined to bring it it's before repeat, the board. It's a re yes. repeat, a repeat offender. Yes, that's why I felt I should bring it. I don't, I'm not bringing it because it's been the first or the second time. No, sir, it's been the third okay. or fourth with okay, that. And then my, my fault so, and, that. and that's why I'm feeling the way I do. Right, because oh. justice, justice, it has to be, we're, we're here to, to a diminish, we're a code and we're enforcement. So we're enforcing the codes. And that means it's not just that we're here to, to sit there and, and go back and forth with you. Uh, we're, we're a court, in a sense, that we are passing a, 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 some sort of a magistrative decision based on the situation. And they can't think that they, and they, they it, in other words, they're not even showing up to make an explanation to what's going on. They're not communicating with her. That's my issue. Mm -hmm. My issue is not so much how, how they're dealing, it's how they're dealing with the situation that I find um, concerned with, because they're taking it as though it's nonchalant. Mm -hmm. and, and that just determines how serious we're taking. You follow what I'm saying? Or no. I, you don't? I'm you don't? Gonna, no. Okay. Because I'm going to ask you. Explain that to me because I don't understand I'm why you don't see you that. The question. Yeah. Okay. So are they in violation right now? Or are they in compliance? That's the, that's the issue she's brought up. They're in compliance. Yes, okay. On the, one the, of the, three. the compliance state one, one of the three. Exactly. But it's a corporation under that same we've, corporation. We've ruled on the other two properties already independently. We're of dealing with we this have. one. But we're talking about going forward. Because we're not talking about the past. We already did that. We dealt with the past already. We're talking about moving forward. They they Look, were you're, you're gonna have your opinion about it, but at this point, the property is in compliance. It is in compliance by the reinspection date, so they they accomplished the goal of what no, they were sir. supposed to. No, no sir. No sir. No sir. No sir. We have, have dealt have with not. repeat not. violations. Not. I, I disagree. We, we with have you. put that language in there. They but they were in by vote, and you, you guys are going to have to vote mm -hmm. the way you want on this of one. Course but, we are, but, but as it stands right now, they are in compliance. You mentioned that you were you want to send a note that they're in violation. I, I would like to clarify that the the property was found in violation when I went back out on September. 11th. They were given until September 11th to come into compliance. Mm -hmm. When I went out on September 12th and re-inspected the property, it was not in compliance. When I went out today, it was in compliance. Now, I don't know when it came into compliance, but when I went out there today is what I'm saying. So they didn't come into, and that's what I'm asking you, to find them in violation as of September 11th. So then, then what we don't know is the number of days they were in violation from the 12th until today. Wow. We, but we're not going to find them yeah. tonight. Them. This is doesn't next time. We'll bring it before you, and then you really? can find them okay. immediately. Okay. So just for yes. some clarification, we have done this before. It's usually Many for times. boats or trailers in driveways where people will take them away, they'll bring them back. They'll take mm -hmm. them away, they'll bring them back. Mm -hmm. And we present it. I don't think we've ever brought it back for a fine, but just, just for clarification. I don't know if we've ever taken it. I have a question. Remember, well, I've, just one moment. Member Smalden would like to. Um, just um, a quick question. Do we have a total number count of how many times we've had to speak to this specific respondent oh, over the last year? Excellent question. I have emails that I sent out. I usually um, do my best to communicate. Um, I send out, my job is to send a notice of violation. Sometimes I send the email, I'll call call the water department, hey, do you got a contact number? She gives me a contact number. I call them. I go through a bunch of red tape just to get to that one department that will give me some type of resolution. 
do we know how many times we've had to reach out to this um, specific I've done respondent? That this certain property three times. Okay, three but times. in total, the right. borrower, the innovation homes borrower LP, in totality, do we have a mm. estimate of how many mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. we've had to reach out to these and, people? And that's an excellent point. I think moving forward, we should make that note duly noted. Um, As a matter of fact, when I called them uh, maybe two, two weeks ago, I gave them all three addresses because she says, "Oh yeah, those are all my properties." But in the past, we've had to speak to them previously in the last I year about them, a variety of that's how I get, properties. I usually get resolutions that way. Thank you. Because I understand it's a corporation; it can get lost in corporation mm. paperwork. But you know, right. if but, it's your property, well, when you send when you send the notice, you send it by certified mail. Correct. Mm. Wow. So, um, and you did not get a green card back saying it was rejected or anything. No. Let me see. No, of course. You do have to rule on just this property, though. You can't. Right. You can't think about the other. That's what right. I, I, I know. Yeah. Right. My my I point was, is, they saying. have been uh, duly notified. Right. You know, this isn't their first rodeo. I mean, and right. not just as far as the violations right. or whatever, they know how the process goes. Yes, they do. Yes, ma'am. So they are choosing to ignore. That's my point. Thinking Absolutely. that nothing is going that's to happen. My, my and right. just based right. on that, right. and when you add the fact that we have others that come before this board, mm -hmm. the perfect solution, I think that's a good solution right. to put it as a repeat. Right. This isn't their first time. Right. And we're not trying to penalize anybody no. specifically. It's not personal. Is business, and we're talking about having it done so that this officer can do her job, and she needs. To, needs so to according to our, 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 it mm -hmm. says it was delivered. Okay. They did receive notice. Okay, okay. so they they voluntarily chose not mm -hmm. to respond to it. So how about we do this? Okay. We don't do anything this time, like a member Vander said, and we let them go ahead, and. If they if you don't it again, we maximize the penalty. Now, well, you said this is your third time. I'm I'm all for the repeat. Yes. My question is: Is, is there some way similar to what the member at the end said um, that you could look to determine the totality of cases from that specific company, so that? If then, if you treat that individually, I have to agree with Member Bandor then yeah. that you have to look That's at it. Hard. We we can't do that. You're, you're ruling on this one property, right? Okay. So even so even so though we know, so then if we're ruling on know. one, then I guess we have to. I, I have to agree with what Member Bandor is saying that you can't look at it as a no, pattern. No, no, no. We're basing the repeat on the fact that Moves you said at the you have on this particular property. Right. You have had three times. This is the third time. Right. That, that has nothing to do with oh, the other okay. property. I, I didn't think she was saying it was this particular property. property. I didn't think she was saying. I think she was saying three properties. No, no, no. no. Just no. to clarify, are no. you talking about the three different properties? Okay. Right. So you kind of, this, this on this particular property. This particular property. 402 was the first one that came in. Six. I no, wasn't I aware. Yeah. I thought you were talking about three was, different properties. It's the same right, property. It's three right, it's fine. I'm it's sorry. Okay. Go ahead and repeat that. Yes, it is on this specific on this specific property, 402 South Cumberland. I've been out there three times. Okay, so. For overgrown grass, pool, not maintaining, same tenants, neighbors next door calling me, please come help. So we're begging you today to help. All right. And that's what the well, that's is specific about. That's because I was looking through and I saw that there were okay. other, I thought you were talking about the totality. Mm -hmm. That's what I was asking. So okay. on that specific property, I would agree yeah. that we can say that mm -hmm. versus, okay. Okay, well, if there's no more discussion, no. I would entertain a motion. Okay. okay. Can I make a motion? Madam Chairperson, I make a, I move that in case number, where are we here? Mm-hmm. Um, 20, 23, 0, 2, 5, 6, 7. Mm-hmm that the respondent be found in violation of code as cited? No, no, no. Yeah. They're yeah. in compliance, yeah. aren't they? In no, but it goes in. No, that's correct. The, yeah. the violation was they weren't in compliance by September 11th. Right. right. Oh. She inspected on September 12th. That's okay. what he said. But, and it was, they were in violation at that time, but sometime between September 12th 
and the 26th, right. they came into uh, compliance. Okay. Okay. So what we don't know is the number of days they were in violation. Right. Well, right. not fine. So the idea behind this is to indicate they were in violation, but we're not assessing fines. Right. I saw right. Okay. That. Okay. That. I'm sorry yeah, for interrupting. That's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Madam Chairman, I'll make the motion. Okay. I move that in case number 2023-2567 that the respondent be found in violation as of September 11th, 2023, and it is now found in compliance as of today's dates today? Yes. <laughs> September 26th, 26, 2023, but no fines being assessed. I second that motion. Okay. Well, everybody liked that one. <laughs> right. That was a good one. Okay. Um, that was fun. I have. <laughs> what about the repeat? What about the repeat? Mm. The twelfth. Mm. What about the repeat? So the repeat portion is if they come in is after you find them in violation. Mm -hmm. If they go in violation again, then we can bring it to you as a repeat violation. Mm -hmm. um, that is a special status in our code, mm -hmm. which then allows them, which allows us to a find them a higher amount and b find them immediately upon discovery. Uh -huh. um, so it is not to do anything now. We can't find a repeat right. now because you haven't ruled on this before. Right. But if you vote uh, ruling them to have broken this specific code, if they break this specific code again, now we have new rules we can play with. Okay, so you don't include that in one motion, though. This motion is violation on the 12th. They had until the right. 11th. She mm -hmm. checked on the 12th. They were in violation, so you're going to find them for that one day. Right. right. But well, now that puts them in jeopardy for their future conduct. Right. right. And but we <coughs> don't include all that in one motion. That's what I'm... No, I'm, that's I'm, two no. separate well, motions. You certainly mention it to them, but it's more educational than it is violation. The mm -hmm. violation is on the 12th, and the fine is... $5,000 or whatever it is, and then the information with regard to the consequences of a second violation, that's educational. Okay. And it's not a bad idea, candidly. Yeah, okay. curiosity out of that. How long does that repeat offense stay on? Is it a year? That, that's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head. We have to look at those. I want to say it's five years off the top of my head. Um, that is our retention cycle. Right. It is listed in our code, but off the cuff, I want to say about five years. Okay. And obviously, if and the... I would put that in the, in the order that, that they get served with. You've been found in violation. If you're found again in violation at this location within the next five years, it will be considered a repeat violation with the <coughs> increase to find to... Whatever. Up to... Up to 500 a day. Mm -hmm. Five hundred. All right. <laughs> okay. Here. Well, let me get the first part of this. Okay. All right. I, we have a member. We have a motion before the board, uh, made by Member Bander and second by um, Member Mann. Um, in case number two zero two three dash zero two five six seven, where the res uh, respondent was found in violation as of September 11th, mm -hmm. but came into compliance. 20, 2023? Uh, to September, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Now, Sorry. Make me start all over again. Oh, no, okay. Over. Um, yes, that the respondent was found in violation as of September 11th, 2023, but came into compliance as of September 26th. 2023, mm -hmm. um, but no fines will be assessed at this time, okay? Um, and going forward, it shall be Given until treated as um, a repeat violation, and the respondent will be so notified, okay? Um, repeat. All those, um, is there any further discussion on this? If not, we'll have a vote. All those in favor, um, press yes. And those opposed, say no. Motion passed unanimously. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. And now.
What we have are the case resolutions. Okay, the first case resolution will be case number 2023-00286. Okay, that's uh, Officer Leffler. Um, he's being discharged from the hospital tomorrow. Um, but I looked up this this uh, case, and there is no permit on file, so order imposing fine. Okay, impose fine. Okay. So. Okay, um, Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion that in case number two zero two three dash zero zero two eight six that the fines be imposed as of, what is it, August 22nd, second, um, mm -hmm. as previously set by this board. A second. second. Okay. okay, we have a motion before the board in case number 2023-00286, presented by Member Mander and seconded by Member Schultz. Uh, that the uh, respondent be found um, in violation as of August 22nd, 2023, and that the fine um, be imposed as set previously set by this board. Um, all those in favor, press yes. Those opposed, no. Okay, motion passed. <clears throat> Uh, next will be case number 2023-00846 uh, for Officer Toby. Officer Toby is on vacation. Um, I checked this also. Uh, the permit has been rejected. No, nothing else has been done by the homeowner, so order imposing fine. Mm -hmm. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion okay. in case number 2023-00846 that the um, <clears throat> fines be imposed as of um, August 10th, 2023, as said previously set by the board. Okay. Okay, I have a motion presented by uh, Member Bander and seconded by Member Mann in case number 2023-00846 that the respondent be found in violation um, of the codes as as of August 10th, 2023, and that fines um, be um, imposed as previously set by this board. Um, all those in favor, press yes. N opposed, no. Okay. Okay, motion passed. Next is case number 2023-01049. Um, again, Officer Loeffler. We spoke with Officer Loeffler. Uh, nothing has been done. This was the hoarding and squalor conditions, so not in compliance with any of the violations. Um, order imposing fine. Okay. Madam Chair, I'd yeah. like to make a motion. Okay. In case number 2023-01049, the fines be imposed as of August 10th, 2023, as previously set by the board. Second. Okay. <coughs> Okay, I have a motion before the board presented by off member Bander and seconded by member Mann in case number 2023-01049 <coughs> that the respondents be found in violation um, of the code as cited and that they be um, that they be um, fined mm -hmm. Uh, as of August 10th, 2023, um, and that they be um, fined as previously um, set by the board. Um, we'll vote on it. All those in favor, press yes. Opposed, press no. Okay. And our last one will be case number 2023-01. 281. Um, again, this would be Officer Loeffler. Unfortunately, this was this one's also not in compliance. Um, I checked the system and no permit has been pulled, so no action. So order imposing fine. Okay. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. Case number 2023-01281 that the uh, fines be imposed as of 
August, August 22nd, 2023 is previously set by the board. Second, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> okay, final uh, motion before the board um, <laughs> presented by off uh, member Ma Bander and seconded by member Mann in case number 2023-01281 that the uh, respondents um, be <clears throat> found um, in violation um, as of August 22nd, 2023, and that they be um, fined um, per previously set by the board. Um, all those uh, in favor, press yes. Opposed, press no. Okay, motion passed. And with that, that concludes uh, the cases to come before the board uh, today. Uh, we will now go around and have board comments. Starting with Member Schultz. Exciting today. Okay. No comment. Uh, okay. I just wanted to thank you for elevating the officer twice. <laughs> I do like the blue shirts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can deal with them. Right, right? Right? <laughs> no, no, no additional, no additional comments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no comment by my neck. Okay. No okay. I unfortunately do have two more items I wanted to present. Um, first one is I do appreciate everyone responding um, to the email from I think it was this morning. Uh, but as a general reminder, please respond as soon as you're able to know your attendance plans. Um, unfortunately, last meeting we did have to cancel because we didn't have quorum, um, but we still had to pay some people because they prepared to come here. Um, so it does help us. We have, you know, staff we have to pay if they start coming here. Um, so yes, and remember, I know it's a new uh, system, but if it comes from the no reply, you do have to send me that separate email because I don't see the no reply. Mm, okay. Um, the second <coughs> item is I want to bring this up now so we have time in case we need to discuss it next meeting. But the November meeting would fall on November 28th. Mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving is the weekend before. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone was planning to be out of town or not, um, but we do like to ask the board ahead of time if they plan to have the meeting um, or if they wanted to cancel it because of, of known absences. Um, we generally look for just consensus if we're going to have it or a vote if we're going to cancel the meeting. This can be addressed next meeting if you would like, if you need more time to look at your schedules. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a uh, December, there is no meeting scheduled. Um, that would fall on the day after Christmas, and I will not be here. <laughs> um, at this time, I would like to, uh, you know, let the board know that um, I will be retiring, okay, everywhere, uh, the board as well. So if we do not um, have a meeting in November, uh, the next month will be my last. Well, don't look so sad. <laughs> it's a good thing, trust me. <laughs> Um, so what is the consensus of the board? Legal? Legal? Uh, oh, we, we have to get a legal opinion? I don't, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to handle that. Oh, what, the opinion on, on what, November's uh, meeting? Right, what oh, okay. Uh, no, it doesn't have to be legal. You, if you guys aren't going to be here, don't plan on being here, we don't have quorum, then we cancel the meeting right. in November. Mm -hmm. We just started, and I try to know now before we start scheduling them, because um, there is, in theory, I could start scheduling meet, uh, cases for that meeting. Yeah. I honestly would have to check my schedule, so I, I wouldn't know until that. Okay. Likewise. I'm with Brent. Then let's, we can, we can move this to next month then. I'll add it as part of our agenda for um, next month to specifically have a new thanks, uh, November meeting discussion. Okay. okay. Okay, all righty. Um. Well, with that, um, it was really nice seeing all of you guys. <laughs> and um, with that, meeting adjourned then. <laughs> that.